Question two is from Bailey. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Bailey. Thanks for the question. Bailey says, first of all, you're so badass. Thanks, Bailey. You too. I love everything about you. Huh, amazing. Oh, and sweet little Sammy. Oh, now you're after my heart. I just can't get enough. <laughs> you're so sweet. Okay, okay, here's Bailey's question. Is it okay to split cardio up from training? Say I train in the AM and do cardio in the PM. Is that okay? Will I get the same results as doing cardio right after training? Additionally, what would be the best time to take your bean? Thank you, Jesse. That's all for now. Peace, love, and chicken grease. <laughs> I think that's my new saying. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Bailey, I think you might be my favorite Jesse's girls right now. Yes, absolutely. Is it okay to split up cardio from weightlifting? In fact, I hope and pray that that's what every single one of you can do. The best thing to do is to try and get the lifting and cardio about five hours apart from each other. That's kind of what I have found to be the right amount of time to allow for enough rest and recovery in between the training and the cardio session in order to not jeopardize either one of them or jeopardize your strength in your lifting session and to be able to not be fatigued for either one. What I suggest you do is to, for example, if you do have to put cardio and training together in the same workout, which many of us have to do, what my suggestion is, is to, let's say you're doing 30 minutes of steady state cardio, okay? So what I would do is I would get to the gym and I would do 15 minutes of steady state cardio as a, like as a warm up to my lifting session. I would lift and then I would end my lifting session with 15 minutes of steady state cardio to equal 30 total minutes of steady state cardio, but it kind of acts as a warm up to my lifting session and a cool down. Now, if you have to do HIT high intensity interval training, at the exact same time in the same session as your lifting session, that's where it gets a little bit tricky. I always want you to lift first. That's the most important thing, lift first always. But what I want you to do here is I need you to be fueled for your HIIT session. And if you lift for 45, 60, 75 minutes or more, and then you try to go do HIIT, you're going to be overtraining, you're going to be fatigued, your cortisol levels are going to go up. It's not good, you cannot, fatigue yourself that much in a lifting session and then expect great results from your hit session. You are going to negatively affect one or the other or both. So what I want you to do is I want you to make sure you bring, um, I don't even have a recommendation. I'll look it up because I don't use one only because I'm able to split up my cardio and my training session so I don't have to purchase this supplement, but I want you to look up a carb powdered supplement. They have a ton on bodybuilding.com. I know there's really great brands out there, so I know you'll find one. I want you to bring with you to your lifting session in a shaker, a scoop of protein and a scoop of the carb powder supplement. During your second to last or last set of your weight training session, I want you to mix that up together, the protein and the carb, and just sip it and make sure you're done with it you know, when you just have like one more set left of your weight training workout. That way, you're sipping it while you're training, you get it in, and then you can just go straight over to whatever you're training for hit and get it done and be fueled, okay? And then as soon as you get in your car and go home from that lifting and hit session, get your booty home and eat, okay? That'll totally work. So I'll look up some carb powdered supplements on bodybuilding.com and uh, I'll make some recommendations, but that's what I want you to do if you have to put them all in one session.